Rambling Man here. Hey, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like my video and share my video if you can. But let's get in this. Here, here, here's what I want to talk about. So I, I recently put a post on Facebook and it was something, some meme or something about Joe Biden. And if you don't know, I did not care for Joe Biden at all. Now, one of the people, my friends on Facebook said, uh, I think we're just all tired of it and of, of all the back and forth and people griping and whining about just because their guy didn't get elected. Us, us normal people are just tired of all the whining. So the normal people, are you telling me these normal people didn't choose a side, didn't vote for Biden or for Trump? If that's the case, these normal people that did not vote, they don't have a right to complain or talk about anything. And if they don't like what we have to say about the other opponent, the one that's in office right now, it doesn't matter. Their opinion doesn't matter if they didn't vote. My guess is these normal people voted, but they voted for the idiot that's in office right now. They're just tired of hearing what everyone knows is that the guy they voted for is incompetent. That's my take on it. So if you want to call yourself a normal person and say that you didn't, you know, you're tired of all the whining, the only reason we're whining is because we knew what was going to happen in the first place because we knew what we had in Trump already. We had a guy that shouldn't open his mouth, shouldn't tweet and things. If he just did his job, he would have been known as one of the best presidents in, in the history of the United States and not someone that people hate because they got tired of having their feelings hurt. You never knew what's coming out of his mouth. Because the best way I can put it is Trump was an excellent president, but as a man, he's a dishbag. Let's be honest, he's a butt. But he knew what he was doing. He didn't take crap from anybody. And this right now that's happening with Putin, Putin would have rethought his game plan and would not be invading right now. Do I think he would have invaded? Maybe because he's very egotistical. But it would have been a lot harder, not something like Joe Biden and his, I'm the only guy that's ever gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Putin, whatever. It's really worked out really well. I'm just saying, as far as it goes right now, if we had, because here's the thing, we had two people to vote for, Trump or Biden. So I'm going to go with Trump as opposed to Biden. Now let's think about this real quick. If for some weird reason Biden thinks it's a good idea and decides to run again and he's up for re-election in 2024 and decides to run again and Trump gets wins the primary and ends up the candidate for the Republican Party, are you going to be dumb enough to vote for Biden again? Are you going to take a chance that I bet Trump may hurt some feelings? Because if you are dumb enough to vote for Biden a second time, and, he, and let's let's put it, let's put it this way: even if Biden doesn't run, but everyone else stays the same, you have Pelosi and you have uh, all these guys that are on the Democratic ticket, all these guys on the Democratic side that have not changed. Let's say that doesn't change much. You're going to have the same administration, just a different head figurehead running for Democrat. Let's be honest, because right now Biden doesn't write those speeches. He can barely put together a coherent sentence, much less write a whole speech. I'm anxious to see what he does all at the State of the Union. And I'm anxious to see what he does when, when all the truckers from across the United States gets there. Some of them will get there a little bit late, but I hear that's going to happen in D.C. called the People's Convoy. We'll see what happens. Hey, but like I said... Trump and Biden come to the come to the ballots again in 2024. Who are you voting for? Keep it real, people. It's a no-brainer. You don't go with the idiot that can't finish a speech, can't finish a sentence without a teleprompter. And you go with the guy that's proven, regardless of if he hurts your feelings or not. Y'all have a great day. Let me know what you think.
make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Ramblin' Man, out.